First, we have the process diagram, which represents uh, the process that I showed you before on VS Code, but it also shows you the current status of that process, which node it's executing right now or waiting for to be executed in this case, because it's a user task. And we can also see here the timeline of the execution, which nodes have already been executed at which time. And right below here, we can take a look at the jobs that this process generated. Uh, as we, we saw before and while I was explaining about this process, we have this job that will bypass uh, this user task in a few seconds, as you can see here. So we'll take a look at that soon. Um, we also have a node trigger that manually triggers a specific node that we can choose here in this dropdown if we want to. Here we have uh, process variables, which in this case are the candidate information that I sent when I, when I made the request to start the new instance. And on the left here, we have uh, general details about this instance, like its state and its ID, okay? So as I mentioned, the job is probably has probably ran right now. So let's click here on the refresh button. Yeah, so as you can see here, the timeline and the status already updated. You can see here in the jobs panel that the job executed and the HR interview task uh, was bypassed. So the current state right now is that uh, the process is waiting for the IT interview test to be executed by the user JDO, which is assigned to the task in the process definition in the, in the BPMN file. So let's go ahead and take a look uh, just in the job screen. Here we can filter by executed jobs just to see that the job appears here as well if you want to can also take a look at more specific details if you want to. And then if we go to the tasks screen and switch to the, to the user JDO, we'll be able to see the IT interview task uh, ready to be executed. And also if I change the filter to also show completed and aborted tasks and apply, we can see the HR interview was aborted after that uh, job was executed before. So now let's go ahead and go inside the IT interview task. Uh, as you can see here, the input of this task is the candidate information that I provided. And this form is automatically generated based on the task schema that was defined also in the process. And the output of this task will be uh, this uh, Boolean, which defines if they use the, if the candidate was approved in the process or not. So let's go ahead and select the approved checkbox and complete the task. So now the task is completed. If I go back here to the tasking box, you can see it's a status updated to completed. If I go back to the process instance screen, there is nothing because uh, I need to change the filter to also show completed business process and apply. And then you can see the status of the process is completed. If we take a quick look at the details, uh, we can see this whole path was completed and reached uh, the final node. And in the timeline, you can see that as well. It was ended in a few seconds.